I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll understand a very basic concept about polynomials. Students in grade 9 start learning about polynomials and this is probably the very first question they sometimes get stuck on. The question here is, find the degree of each polynomial. So we have an example, rather six examples here, with this question of finding degree of a polynomial. So polynomials are expressions, or you can say functions, as shown here. We have given you polynomial in the first one in one variable, and all other examples, 2, 3, and 4, have more than one variable, 5 and 6 are again with one variable. So polynomials could be in many number of variables. We need to find degree of a polynomial. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given will help you achieve your goal as shown here. The success part begins now. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Okay. The very first one, I hope you must have got the answer for that now. 3x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 4 plus x square minus 2. There are four terms in this polynomial and here you notice that this term has the highest degree which is 5 and therefore degree of this polynomial is 5. The next one has many terms, four of them, but here we have two variables. So each term you have to count the degree. So that is counted by adding the powers. So the first term has 4 plus 1, right? The second term 2 plus 4, which is 6, then 2 plus 6 is 8, and then 7. The highest happens to be for the third term, which is 8, and therefore the degree of this polynomial is 8, right? Now we have three variables, that means you have to count the powers. So when you multiply, the variables with power, in that case, in each term, these indexes get added up. So here you can see 4 plus 2 is 6, 2, 2, 4 and 3, 7 and 7 plus 2 is 9. So here the degree is 9 and therefore the degree of this polynomial is 9. So this one, the very last one is for you to practice. So let this be your test practice question. Clear? You can write your answer in the comments. Now we have polynomials in factored form. So we have this polynomial, which is terms being multiplied with something in brackets. Can you tell me the degree of this polynomial? Well, in the first one, x will be highest power of 5. In the second one, highest power is 2. And when you add them up, 5 and 2, you do get 7. So the degree of this polynomial is of course 7. How about the next one? Now you have to do the same thing as you did in question number 5. Can you please tell me your answer? Is it again 7? Well, you notice that there is a degree of 2, 5 and this x. The degree is 1 there. So you have to add this up and therefore what you get here is 1 plus 5 plus 2 which is 8. So degree of this polynomial is 8. 
is this part clear to you? With that in mind, let's now look into a test question which is based on what you just learned. So, can you now write down the degree of these polynomials? That should not be difficult. You know, you are going to add them up, right? How about this? Now, the tricky part here is that we have x squared inside. So, what happens to that? This is what you have to think and write down the answer in the comments. Think about the power rules to get the degree of this particular polynomial. If we have power of power, it gets multiplied. I hope you can do it now. I hope with this you have understood how do we find the degree of polynomial. They could be given in any form and with any number of variables. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.